everyone, it's Aster bringing you a gigantic Asian snack and drink haul. Um, I went a little overboard. So my local Asian market is H Mart. I know it's a Korean mostly uh, market, although they do sell Japanese, Chinese, um, Thai goods, I think. Uh, Korean stuff. They sell American things. They sell Mexican things. They just, you know, they sell a lot of stuff, but primarily like Asian stuff. And um, that's usually where I get all of my stuff other than Daiso, but Daiso, you can only get a select few things because Daiso is more of a home goods store than a actual grocery store, H Mart's a grocery store. And the only other Asian market that's like big on that scale is in Seattle, deep in Seattle, and I don't get out there that often, so yeah, I have to get stuck with H Mart. It's I'd rather go to my other Asian market because it's mainly Japanese and I really like Japanese stuff, so that's my spiel. Uh, let's get into it because this is going to take a while because there is a lot of stuff. And I have no idea where my receipt is, but this basically cost 160 up. Um, like I said, I went a little overboard. Okay, first things first is these glorious, glorious Super Mario chocolate eggs. So they're like the... Um, Kinder eggs, or if you're familiar with uh, the Animal Crossing eggs that are exclusive to Japan, same people make the Super Mario egg. Now, I wish I had found the Animal Crossing eggs because I want those, and the cheapest I can find online is like $10 plus shipping. So, <laughs> I wish. But, um, I like Super Mario, so it's just not going to be as cute. So, this is what it looks like. Nutritional information. And then this is what we can get. Now, there is a mystery one. And I bought five. I bought every single one <laughs> that they had. Uh, I cleared them out. I wasn't going to leave any of them behind because I doubt I'll ever see these again. And I would probably open these on camera, but we have a lot of stuff to go through. So I might post on Instagram what was in these, if anybody's curious on what I got. And I may or may not go on to TikTok and make a video of me opening them. I'm not actually on TikTok. I've been debating about it. I really do not like TikTok as a platform. It just, it's not my kind of platform, but for unboxing videos, like short little clips, like mystery box unboxing videos, I think I might post there for that sort of thing, but I'm not sure. Anyways. Moving on. I got two of these. Now they're, um, I don't know what they're called. I mean, uh, in, I believe, Japanese. Oh, Shimi Choco Corn. I just saw that. So this is, uh, Pac-Man. It's celebrating Pac-Man. So there's this one where it's Pac-Man. It's made out of chocolate corn. And then Pac-Man and the ghosts are chasing him. So there's that variation. But then there's this variation. Yes, I got both variations of the packaging. I actually really like this snap, so... I don't mind buying two of them. I'm, um, I think... Yes, on the back it's... They're celebrating the 40th anniversary of Pac-Man, that's why they're uh, Pac-Man themed. 
themed. I was like, what's going on? Why are they celebrating Padma? That's why. Next, I got three each of these Pico wafers. Uh, these are Pico Chan um, from uh, Milky, the Milky Company, or the Milky Candy. That girl. If you know uh, your Asian sweets, you might know her. Um, so these are Pico wafers, and they're like Kit Kats. Um, probably a cheaper generic version of Kit Kats, but there's three different um, packaging variations that I saw, so I got all three of them. This one looks like a Where's Waldo one. Uh, this one is a carnival one, and it looks like it's uh, all maybe the Where's Waldo one. I guess you're supposed to find certain characters. So this one's the carnival one, and it's really, really cute. And next we have an underwater one. Also very cute. But I think the carnival one's my favorite. Next up we have a uh, Kit Kat flavor. It is a Kit Kat mini onsen manju. Uh, that's reading the nutritional label in English. So hopefully, I mean, I believe it. that's what it is because it's uh, got an onsen on the front, and I believe those things are called manjus, or manjus, or I can't pronounce Japanese words, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this should be an interesting flavor. And you get 12 mini Kit Kats in there. I like trying Japanese Kit Kats. Their flavors are so weird and cool at the same time. I just, mm, I love them. <laughs> Uh, next up, we have some Tohato Caramel Corn Strawberry Flavor. So, I actually got some of these in, like, I think the Tokyo Treat Box or something like that. And it was because it was, like, um, for Valentine's Day. And then I found these, so. Oh, well. Um, I like strawberries, so I thought I'd get more. Then we have these adorable hard candies that are Sakura themed and Hello Kitty. Just perfect. I love it and I love this packaging. You get cherry, apple, and orange flavors. Look at that packaging. Isn't it lovely? It's beautiful. I love it. I can't wait. And the hard candies Sakura shaped. It's so cute. I just love Japanese candy. Ah. Ah, sometimes I can't even. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. <clears throat> uh, next up we have some Japanese gummy beans. I know, a little weird. What's the difference? Not sure. Um, there's five different flavors. There's grape, muscat, gr Muscat grape, so there's two different grape flavors. Apple, peach, and a grapefruit. Maybe the f flavors are more intense or something? Or there's a different, it's a different texture, I'm not sure. Next up we have some jelly straws. Um, these are actually Taiwanese. So yeah, they sell all sorts of things uh, in H Mart. As you can see, made in Taiwan, so representing Taiwanese people. Awesome. And this packaging is just adorable as well. Um, jelly straws, they're, they're interesting. They're a harder uh, texture than our Jell-O. Um, I'm not really sure how to describe them. They're very, very fun to eat, especially if you put them in the refrigerator. Or, I've heard this, I haven't actually tried it, 
putting it in the freezer, I think it makes it solidify a little bit more. So it's like an icy or something. Not sure. We'll try the though. Uh, next up we have some candy. I'm not sure what this is. It's okay, it's sweet candy, double soda. So it's soda flavors, I believe. Ah, yes. Okay. So there's see how there's apple and orange and melon and banana. So each of these has two different flavors. Um I don't know if these fizz or if they just taste like soda. I would assume that they have some sort of fizzing. Uh, it has bicarbonate in it, so I'm going to say there's probably some fizzing going on. Looking forward to that. I like fizzy candy. Next up, uh, I actually saw this laying on the shelf where it didn't belong, but I was like, I haven't seen these before. Um, these are strawberry caramels. So I thought, oh, you yeah. know, why not grab it? Yeah, I couldn't find any more of these because I was like, maybe they have different flavors, but yeah, this was the only one. So, very cute packaging, too. And then we have some, I, I believe these are... Hmm. It doesn't say where these are made because this is actually made by Me Meiji America. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Meiji, Me Me Meiji is Japanese. But I've heard these being called Chinese treats. I'm not sure. Maybe if somebody is Japanese or Chinese, they can say, or if you're American and you know it, or if you just know it, regardless of where you live, if you know what, uh, where these are from, the Yan Yan sticks. But I got the vanilla cream, the strawberry, which is my favorite, yum, and uh, double cream, which is chocolate and strawberry. They didn't have just the chocolate one. Otherwise, I would have gotten it. But I love the strawberry one. It's so good. Uh, then I got some more Hello Panda because it is so good. And strawberry flavor, of course. Um, yeah, this one also says uh, it's made in America, too. So I don't know where it originally came from. And you thought I was done with the food? Think again. <laughs> okay, so this is... It does not say what it, it doesn't say the name of this thing. Tayuyaki? I don't know if that's correct, but it's basically a wafer biscuit with uh, chocolate filling inside, as you can see. Um, it's called Puku Puku Thai Chocolate on the back. So, mm, that doesn't seem like taiyaki, but, and, um, I was thinking I probably would be okay with the chocolate, but you know what I would really like? Strawberry. I got three of them. <laughs> I got the last three in the store. <laughs> um, they were, there was more of the, uh, chocolate than the strawberry, but... I wanted all the chocolate, or I mean, all the strawberry. I'm so so on chocolate sometimes. I mean, I really love chocolate, but yeah, sometimes chocolate doesn't taste good. And I still have more. These should be the last snaps, though, and then we can get into the sodas and all that stuff. So, we got this cute thing. I I guess it's like a Play-Doh type thing that you can eat. It's called Pet Salon. Um, uh, Okashina Pet Salon. Not sure if that's how you pronounce that. But it's really cute. So you like design the hair on these pets. And as you can see, you kind of put the candy in and then press down and it shoots out the hair. That reminds me of like a Play-Doh thing that, 
don't know. I've seen the Play-Doh thing that looks like that. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. I think it's the same sort of idea, but you can actually eat this one. The packaging is, again, super cute. Um, and then I got some biscuits. And these are Anpan Man Yoji biscuits. Um, I'm going to guess they're milk flavored or just vanilla flavored. And then we got some Cracky Poppin' Cookin'. Now I haven't been able to find new Poppin' Cookins for a while because Daiso sells some older ones that I've already gotten. H Mart sometimes has new ones. Well, obviously they got these ones, but very rarely will they get the newer ones in. Um, usually it's just, I mean, they're still like, you know, uh, within date. I don't mean that they're selling old things. I mean, they're selling just the old styles of stuff. When I know uh, Pop and Crookin has more selection. So, we got Pop and Cookin Sweets Party. I believe I don't have this one. And we got Pop and Cookin Taiyaki in Dango. It is called Taiyaki. Okay. I was right. Yay! Then we got Pop and Cookin. I believe this is one's festival, but this one's um, Tanoshi Omatsuraishi. I'm gonna try to pronounce that one because I will butcher it. The unfortunate thing is I didn't realize it, but the box is ripped. So I'm weird. I actually saved the boxes because they're really cute. So that's kind of a shame. And it was unfortunately on this one too. I'm not sure how I missed that, but um, this one I don't think it's pop and cooking. I think it's it's also by Cracky, but it's a colorful piece and it's Narican Land. Well, it's similar to that like. Play-Doh type thing. I think it's like taffy or something. I'm not sure. Okay, now we get to the drinks. I'll try and rush through this because we're already on 18 minutes. Okay. First up we have some uh, Assam mel Melon Milk Tea. I will say, going forward, you might notice that I have like milk teas and boba milk teas and stuff and I think I've mentioned it but I'm lactose intolerant so you might be questioning why I have these. Okay, um, they don't make lactose and or lactose free milk teas or I haven't found them. Um, so I just buy them because yeah, if I limit my dairy intake it's fine. Um, next we have some strawberry milk tea by the same people. You kind of have to take risks if you're lactose intolerant, so. Uh, this is just normal milk tea. And these are cold. <laughs> I've been storing them in my little fridge, so they're really cold. Then we got some melon soda. Some brown sugar bubble milk tea. some taro flavored bubble milk tea and then these two I am so happy I found these because I've been trying to find these and online these are so expensive um, they seem to be coming from the UK I'm not sure why but all of the places I can find are like that sell them are in the UK and yeah they do import them but the prices are insane, or they don't uh, import them any longer because of Brexit. So being able to find these are, is just so awesome. I love the fact that I found these. So these are Ocean Bomb 
bubble milk teas. Um, this one is um, different, I think. I'm not, uh, this one's brown sugar. What's the other one? It's just pearl milk tea. Okay. So one's brown sugar, one's uh, just normal. But the reason I was after them is because look at the designs on the cans. Those are so awesome. I love them. They're so colorful. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, it would be it would have been crazy expensive to import them, so I am really, really, really happy. And I managed to find them at my local H Mart, and I didn't have to import them because, yeah, it was kind of driving me insane. Um, Ocean Bomb is also the company that's doing some Pokemon sparkling waters or something in cans and. Trying to find those as well is really hard. I want the Pikachu one and the Squirtle one, but yeah, I can't really find them. Uh, next up we have some Boing <laughs> Guava Pulp Beverage. And um, as I said, they sell things like stuff that's made in Mexico, like this thing. This is made in Mexico. So, uh, multinational store there. Uh, we have a crushed pear drink. A CC lemon. This one's cool because it doesn't have any dairy in it. So it can be totally drink without me worrying. It's strawberry flavored coconut milk with nada de coco. As you can see there's like little chunks of jelly in there. So that should be fun. Okay, Giant Remine, and it's melon flavor. And it is giant. It's, it's huge. <laughs> I mean, it's really big compared to the normal ones. Um, so yeah, I got a normal melon one, too. Then we got some Modu Modu strawberry juice with Natty D. Toco. I'm probably pronouncing that totally wrong. Then we have one more bubble tea and it's brown sugar. And then these two weird things, they're in pouches and they're iced teas. Well, one's an iced tea. It's peach iced tea by a really cute penguin. And then a, a blueberry aid. So what you do is you put ice into a cup, you pour the product into the ice cold cup, you cover the cap, or cover with a cap and put a straw in there and you enjoy the drink. So just something different. <laughs> I suppose you could act like a Capri Sun and just puncture it with a straw and drink it out of there. <laughs> But yeah, that is it from for my huge H Mart haul. I spent a lot of money, but I wanted to treat myself. Um, I got my stimulus check, <laughs> and I kind of overdid the treating myself. But you know, might as well. You never know what's going to happen <laughs> in the future, so might as well enjoy life while you can. And with that interesting, morbid thought, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.